record tricks. Okay, so let's start a new project. Put a little kick drum in, little hi hat. And a snare. So now we've got a little pattern rolling. Okay, so the first little chord trick is first you need to make the pattern lengths right. So make that long, we'll duplicate that so there's two of them. And now we'll go to here and we'll start making our chords. Um, I've got it on MIDI channel too just because the micro freaks uh, doesn't drop any voices at the moment, so it's a lot easier to use. Um, okay, so we've got our patterns the right length. Go to here. I put it in chromatic and we'll start making some chords. Next one. Next one. Oops. So now we've got three. Um, okay, we'll leave it at that. So now we've got three chords. I'm just going to leave it at that for now, but you could fill it up if you wanted to. Go to patterns. We've already got our, link, uh, our long patterns, and we're going to chain them. But for now, we're going to go pattern lock, and we're going to turn it off in the mixer. So you can't hear it play, which allows us to play it. Um, make sure they're chained, which they are. Back to MIDI. Press record. And let's go. Turn it back on. So that's the first one, that definitely works. Okay, so that's really cool um, and then the next one again we'll get a new project so this one has to do with the micro freak uh, this is where I'm using the one oscillator uh, sorry the chord mode on the micro freak so I need to get the micro freak into the right mode yeah so now when I hit one note on here it's telling the micro freak to play a chord uh, great thing about this chord uh, chord mode is that you can change the shape of the chord. So you can go from minor ninth, minor seven, an octave, a fifth, a suspended fourth, a minor, and so on, minor eleventh. Right. So now what we're gonna do on here is we're just gonna put in one notes. Again, we'll put a little drum pattern in. That'll do. And now on the micro freak, go back to it. We're just going to put in, let's start with E, I like E. Make the pattern long again, just so we've got a bit of time to play with stuff. Go to velocity. Press record. Right, and now you'll see on here, let's just make the sound a bit fatter. Right, okay, so you'll see on here that I have set the macros on here to change the oscillator shape. So we can change all these chords and we can come up with a progression really easily. So now we've got Might even delete that last note, make this one extra longer. Make sure these are right length. So that's another way that you can get chords out of it. Essentially, I'm just using the Micro Freaks uh, 
cord oscillator and modulating it. I'm not doing anything special, excuse the tripod. Um, but it's really interesting what you can do with the tracks because any cool trick that any other synthesizer does, as long as it's got a CC map to it, means you can automate it in real time. So I'm sure there's better chord modes out there than the Micro Freak, but for now, this to me is awesome. This and the other chord trick really open up the tracks a bit more. Um, and especially if you think about writing chords from the beginning, uh, the beginning of a track, rather than trying to fit it into something that's pre-existing. It seems to be a lot more of a relevant way of doing things. But uh, again, thanks for your time. And uh, hopefully I'll do more. Like, subscribe, do what you do. Cheers.